So we're now going to measure the velocity of the river. I've already measured out two poles, two metres apart. I'm standing right on the edge of the river, so not to disrupt the flow of the river in the middle of the river channel. And I'm looking to measure the velocity of the river in the middle because we're in a straight section of the river channel and that's where the fastest flow will be. If I wanted a more accurate representation, I could measure the velocity at several points across the width um, to get, to get, to get a, a more complete representation. But for today, we're just measuring the middle. I'm going to place a pine cone. It's a natural object, it's biodegradable, um, and because I haven't got another person to catch it, I can just let it go and I, um, place it in the middle for upstream so that it can pick up speed, the speed of the river, as it passes the first pole, I'm gonna then time it, the t t uh, time it takes to uh, travel from the first pole to the second pole. Ideally, I'd have a second person over on the far side who'd more accurately measure the, the exact point it uh, passes the second point, but for now, I'm just on my own. So let's place it in the middle of the river, off we go. Pass the first pole, Past second pole, four minute, four second, four point one five seconds. There's the velocity of the river, and I'd repeat it several times to get an average um, and a more accurate and reliable representation.